Ngayon po'y nais ko lang uh, batiin sa pinakamaayos na paraan coming from the halls of Congress, no less. The Supreme Court, in their historic decision that they have issued today, declaring once and for all that the PDAF, the CDF, and for that matter, any pork barrel in the past, in the present, and in the future as illegal and unconstitutional. Ito po isang issue na bumagabag sa ating bansa at nagpahiwahiwalay ng ating mga mamamayan sapagkat naging iba't iba ang ating pananaw. Dito sa ating kongreso, ganun na rin ang nangyari. Apagkat nung Hulyo 24, nung ang inyong lingkod ay nagsalita upang ipaalala sa lahat ang kahalagahan ng ating pagtalikod dito sa pork barrel issue nito at sa ating collective action na tanggihan na natin ito ay para bagang nagbato tayo, nagbato ako ng butil ang bigas sa isang napakalalim na bano, balon sapagkat wala po yata tumanggap sa aking panukala. We said then, and we stressed on the point, that the PDAF is definitely unconstitutional. From the very beginning, from the very inception in 1986, and at a time when they were introducing it in 1984, we argued on the point of constitutionality, and we stressed that lawmakers cannot appropriate sums of money wherein, in its implementation, we would have a hand. And so this decision sets once and for all the issue of lawmakers not being able and should not be made, should not be allowed to have a hand in the implementation of matters that we pass judgment on especially on issues of appropriation. Ito po'y napapanahon sapagkat naglalagablab sa lahat ng puso ng mga tao sa labas ng kongreso ito ang issue ng pork barrel at kung ano ang mga iskandalong bumalot dito. We have been scandalized and we have been maligned simply because what we were holding on was wrong from the very beginning. I reminded this body about the admonition of then Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma to all of us. We were fighting a dictatorship and we were standing on the principles of good governance, liberation of the people, democracy for all. And we were tempted with the same two million pesos each for poor Barrett. Ang sabi po ni Justice Palma, we cannot accept this. We cannot allow it simply because it is illegal. It's immoral. It's un unconstitutional. And from that time, we maintain our firm position not to participate and not to even allow its reading of itself in this Congress, in this very same Congress, before the same flag of our nation. We committed to fight it and reject it, and we succeeded. Sabi nga ni Justice Palma, if we allow it now, with two million pesos each, no one will be able to control it later. Yan ay lalaki ng lalaki, Aabutin niya nang kung hindi na natin malaman, baka dumating ang panahon, bilyon-bilyon ng salapi ang hahawakan ng ating mga mambabatas. Today, the issue is settled. We can no longer legislate appropriations in this chamber and thereafter take interest in its implementation. Much less take personal interest on the kind of expenditure, any money that is approved by us. 
Marami po siguro ang masasaktan dito sa pangyayaring ito. Dahil alam ko namang marami sa ating mga kaibigan na mga politiko na nangako sa kanilang mga distrito nung nakarang halal ng kung ano man ang kanilang maibibigay na kapalit sa tangkilik ng kanilang mga mga halal. Subalit, marahil dapat nating isipin ang mas mahalaga ang kapakanan ng ating demokrasya. Kapagkat wala talagang pupuntahan ang ating sistema kung ang ating pag-uukulan ng pansin ay kung paano tayo makikibahagi sa pondong ating inaapurbahan dito sa Kongreso. And much more than that, Madam Speaker, the strength of the congressional power over the purse is now enhanced, defined, supported, and from here on, we can insist that Congress overlooks or looks over looks over the shoulder of the executive on how they also spend public funds. Because the hold of the executive over the legislative is now gone. Wala na pong makapagsasabi na yung pidak mo mahuhold, yung pork barrel mo hindi na lalabas, hindi ka na makatitikim ng isang butil ng anuman sapagkat ikaw ay kumukontra sa gusto ng executive. So today, we should celebrate the liberation of our chamber and the freedom to be able to decide freely on any issue brought before us. Na wala tayong iniisip na kapalit sa pork barrel, pagbabawas o pagdadagdag. Ngayon ay makagaganap na tayo ng ating tungkulin sa laabot ng ating kakayahan na walang nagbibigay sa ating inspirasyon kung hindi yung ating kagalingan pambayan. Today, we can face each other on the floor, public forum, any discussion on any issue where nobody will be able to control each and every member of this chamber's principles and actuations and decisions. This Supreme Court decision definitely will go a long way in establishing stronger roots of democracy in our beloved country. We are undergoing a lot of stress. We are suffering from a lot of natural calamities. We have big needs that have to be provided for. We can do this, Madam Speaker. We can respond to any situation. We can support the President and the administration in every need that they have. But we must follow the law. The rule of law must always prevail. Not the rule of man, not the rule of one man, and not the rule of anyone, but the constitutional guarantee and definition of functions. The executive spends the legislative appropriates, the judiciary interprets the laws that we pass. Sa lahat ng ating mga kasamahan, na alam kong sa kabila ng kanilang paniniwala sa kabutihan itong pork barrel na ito, alam kong sa ngayon ay magkakaroon sila ng temporary temporary dislocation of whatever political plans that they have. But to them, I extend our common, common interest and common inspiration coming from this decision. Let's overcome this temporary displacement of our politics and perform our tasks from here on to the best that we can do to craft better laws, to concentrate on reviewing the old ones which no longer serve their purpose. And definitely to be very, very much on guard on every occasion where the executive has to be reminded on how they are spending the money of the people. The oversight functions of Congress must be strengthened at this point in time as we should strengthen it. 
at, at lahat ng ating pinagsama-sama ang pagsisikap. Natiti ako magbubunga ng mas magandang buhay para sa lahat. Ang ating mga manging isda ay magkakaroon ng atensyon at proteksyon sa batas. Ang ating mga magsasaka ay mabibigyan din ng tulong na tunay sa pamamagitan ng ating pinagsama-samang pagbibigay pansin sa kanilang problema. Ang lahat ng sektor sa ating bansa ay makikinabang sa desisyong ito. For the first time, the Supreme Court took a strong position on this issue. From 1986 to the present, the PDAF or the pork barrel have been challenged twice. And Supreme Courts then did not clearly take a stand to protect the integrity of our democracy. Today is a great day. It should be a great day for celebration, a great day for Philippine democracy and good governance. And we congratulate our members of the Supreme Court on the vote of 14-0. Yung po naman ay unanimous. Not even one dissension. Isang justice ay nag-abstain only because they have a pending issue in this chamber on the membership of one of the, the sons of the justice. Buti po naman at ganun ang nangyari sapagkat walang makapagsasabi na merong interes na pumasok dito sa kanilang pagtalakay. 14-0 is a unanimous vote that we must heed, we must listen to, and we must all follow. And let us not try to circumvent the intention and the spirit of the decision. Sumunod na lamang tayo at magkakasundo-sundo at magkakaisa tayo. Huwag tayo unisit ng paraan upang itago pa ang ibang pondo sa ibang paraan, sa ibang departamento. Sapagkat yan ay mabibilad din sa kaalaman ng tao. Alam ko magmula ngayon magkakaroon ng masayang pagtanggap ang ating mga kababayan. The Filipino people will rejoice in this particular historic moment. Let us all share it with them. Let's not allow Congress to be left behind by this triumphant celebration of the victory of the common man. And I urge every member of this chamber to hear on, unite, let us unite to craft better laws. Let us take a look at the Constitution. Marami na pong dapat baguhin sa ating saligang batas na hindi natin maaaring pagtangkaan malamang galawin sapagkat ayaw ng administrasyon. This constitution is no longer serving the purpose of a young nation like us where restrictions have been provided for so that investments are discouraged rather than encouraged. Wala po tayong paraan para lumaban sa ibang bansa, sa ekonomiya. We cannot even attract investments in the country because of the restricted, restricted conditions, provisions that the present constitution enforces. And we cannot even touch it at this point in time simply because the administration does not support it. This may be the best time, Madam Speaker, for all of us in one voice, sit down, review, Pag-aralan natin na from here on ang kapakanan ng tao ang ating pagbibigyan ng pansin at hindi yung ating pinagsama-samang interes sa PIDAF. And again, the PIDAF or whatever it has been used by my colleagues to those who have used it to the best of their abilities in service of their people and their district, congratulations. To those who have misused it, you have a problem to solve. Because the decision says everybody must be looked into on how we have handled our responsibilities over public funds. Kaya sa pagkakataon ito, Madam Speaker, ulit-ulitin ko, ang kasayahan na ngayon ay nararamdaman ng lahat, ang sigaw ng bayan ay ngayon na ang pagbabago. 